what's up finders so today i'm gonna be talking about something that's so important we're gonna be talking about being constipated on keto oh my goodness And it's a common problem. A lot of people have this issue and they may not tell you the truth, but I always want to be truthful with you guys. So when I first started doing the keto diet, I noticed that I could not use the bathroom to save my life. I was eating the salads and pistachios or the cashews, eating the Slim Jims, the pork rinds, but I could not use the restroom. So I'm going to show you guys what I did to stay regular because a lot of people are constipated on keto. So on a regular diet, we get most of our fiber from grains, carbs. So on keto, you're not gonna eat the wheat breads anymore that's higher in fiber. You're not gonna eat the brown rice anymore. You can't really have beans because they're high in carbs or corn. Oh, I do eat a little corn sometimes, but I, only in small amounts. You can't really, you're not supposed to eat apples because apples are high in sugar and it's gonna raise up the glucose levels in, in your blood and um, it just kind of makes it more difficult if you are watching your net carb intake, all that sugar is just not good and you won't lose your weight. So where can you get your fiber from? And this has really helped me and I've been doing the keto diet for going on two years. I have lost 40 pounds doing it. You can see the before and the after photos. And I feel good about myself. My body doesn't ache and have pains anymore. So the first thing I would do is I begin to get some Metamucil. And there's a generic brand and I actually like the Equate version better. And I'll just link everything that I'm gonna say today in the description. When I drink a cup a day, that helped me go, be regular. But then sometimes that wasn't enough. I said, okay. I feeling bloated, I'm feeling like backed up. And this was a problem for me because I just remember getting my hair braided one day and when you get your hair braided, you're sitting there for hours. And I began to feel like I had a log inside of me and I just began to pray in my mind like, God, please don't let this uh, rip out of me. And the reason why I began to pray like that because just having a medical background, I seen patients have GI bleeds and just all kind of issues. And I said, I never want that to happen to me. So it was very, very hard and I was just, I felt compacted and that's very painful just to go through and I would have all these gas build up and all this gas pain because I was not using the bathroom. Every once in a while I would go get some chocolate x lax it, it tastes pretty good actually. You break off two little small pieces and you drink like maybe a glass of water behind it. Ooh, that thing will make you go to the bathroom within 30 minutes or sometimes it takes hours to kick in. It's, it just depends how your body reacts to it but i would do that and i try to just flush out my body at least with the x lax at least twice a month the next thing i did to make sure to use the bathroom regularly is to get some detox tea now these teas are nothing but lax they're gonna make you have some serious bathroom action so i just remember uh, the first time i drank this tea it hit me right away as soon as i drank the last drop i just i just rushed to the bathroom and i was in the bathroom for a hot minute but it was able to cleanse me out and i noticed the consistency of the stool changed some of you guys are constipated and it's like hard little rock and that's how mine was but as i began to try these laxatives it just became the normal consistency consistency looser the next thing I did to break that constipation off was to eat some foods like cabbage and I eat cabbage every single day raw cabbage I love red cabbage I cut a little bit up every day and I put that in my salad just those raw vegetables I get the kales I get the spinach just those big greens that will make you go to the bathroom go cook you some collard greens make sure you fry up some bacon and put the grease in there and eat some collard greens you won't gain weight the next thing i began to do was to get some probiotics so most yogurts they are higher in sugar and most people stayed away from these yogurts on a keto diet but now they have these low carb yogurts and if you want to see more about that make sure you click right here 
to see the best keto yogurt or my favorite ones to use. My gut needed those healthy bacteria. So another thing that I began to do is have these exercise spurts. So I would begin to work out and it helped everything move along. I would begin to do cardio and for a season, me and my children used to walk around the park every day after they got off from school. Then lastly, I just began to make sure I stay hydrated and drink a lot of water. So if you like this video, give me a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video finders.